uh, good day viewers welcome to another biology lesson so right here with me i've got a question that is coming from biology paper 2 for 2023 internal candidates and this is question 3 the question reads the table shows two blood groups blood group a and blood group o and their properties so this is the table right here question a1 complete the table by filling in the spaces provided all right so on this table that we have we have blood group a a b and blood group o we have antigens present antibodies so what we must know is uh, the differences in human blood are due to the presence or absence of the protein molecules called d antigens and d antibodies okay that is one thing that you must know so when you talk of antigens you are just talking about um, a substance that causes the immune system to create antibodies against it then when you talk of antibodies we are talking about the proteins that are produced by the body's immune system in reaction to a harmful substance so what normally happens is that uh, a person has got uh, different antigens on the surface of uh, the red blood cells and on the other hand they have the antibodies that are found in the bloody plasma so i've said antigens are found uh, on the surface of the red blood cells while antibodies are found in the blood plasma so these antibodies and antigens they react okay they interact all right so antigens um presented by a capital letter while antibodies are presented by a small letter so let us look at the table we have blood group a b so this a person with blood group a b is going to have an antigen of a and what b okay that's what it means so right here we are going to write this person is going to have an antigen of what a and b because this person is having blood group a b now uh, a person with blood group o they don't have any antigen. No wonder here it's written none. Now let us look at the antibodies. Okay. So a person with blood group uh, AB. A person with blood group AB. They don't have any antibodies present in their blood plasma. Okay. They have none. They don't have any. Then a person with blood group O. Do they have antibodies? Okay. So a person with blood group O. They have they have um they have antibody a and antibody b okay so here a person with blood group a b has got antigen a and b the antibodies they have uh, don't have anything a person with blood group o they have none antigens then they have antibody a and or t b so this person with blood group a b can donate to a person with blood group a b but can receive from or the blood groups that is from blood group a b a o and b okay so this person is called a universal T recipient because he's able to receive from all the blood groups then a person with blood group o has no antigens okay on the surface of the red blood cells but in the blood plasma they have got antibody a and antibody b then they donate to blood group a b a b and or meaning they donate to all the blood groups okay so this person who can donate to all the blood groups is called a universal donor and this person can only receive blood from a person with blood group what oh so we have answered our first question there let us now answer question e, uh, two which is right here all right so question two reads explain what an antigen is so if you remember i did explain what an antigen is okay so i said an um Okay, we'll say an antigen. Antigens. Antigens are substances. Antigens are substances. Okay, these are substances that causes. Antigens are substances that causes the immune system antigens are substances that causes the immune system to create 
system to create antibodies. against it so this is how you can define an antigen okay antigens are substances that causes the immune system to create antibodies against it right. so this is what antigens are an antigen is a substance that causes the immune system to create antibodies against it so we have answered this question let us now look at uh, question e b so this is our question b right here explain why a person with blood group a b can receive blood from any other donor so remember i said a person with blood group a b is called a universal recipient okay meaning that this person can receive blood from all the four blood groups that we have okay so why is it so okay all right so if you if we go back to our table we said that a person is having blood group a b they have antigen A and B, but they have no antibodies, okay? So, a person with blood group AB can receive blood from all other blood groups because it has no antibodies to attack the antigen. So, remember what I said at first. I said the antibodies and antigens, they interact, okay? So, since this person with blood group AB doesn't have antigens, okay, in the blood plasma, and these antigens are not present to attack the antigens. So this is why a person with blood group AB can receive blood from or other blood groups. So uh, we are saying, uh, explain why a person with blood group AB can receive blood from any other donor. So this is because, so we have said our answer is blood group AB uh, can receive blood from any other donor because it has no antibodies to attack the antigens in the donor's what? blood so this is why um, determining the blood group type is important so that we avoid the antigen antibody uh, attack okay when this happens you find that the person is going to have uh, a clump of blood so this is very important okay so um, we have answered this one this is why a person with blood group AB can receive blood from any other donor because they have no antibodies that can attack the antigens in the donor's what blood let us now to come to question c right here so our question c reads determine the effect of blood from a donor with blood group a b being transfused into a recipient of blood group what oh all right so this question is uh, saying determine the effects of blood so what would be the effect of blood from a donor who's having blood group AB, okay? And this blood group um, AB is being transfused into a recipient of blood group what? O. Now, if you remember, we have said a person with blood group uh, O doesn't have antigens on the surface of the red blood cells, but this person has got antibodies present. Then a person with blood group AB doesn't have uh, antibodies, but this person has got what? antigens so this means that a person with a, a specific antigen cannot possess a corresponding antibody okay and um, this is because uh, an antigen reacts with a corresponding what antibodies making the antigen antibody reaction that is called the agglutination where the blood is going to cramp what together okay so what would be the reason or what would be the effect of the blood so we have said um, the antigens in blood group AB may react with antibodies in blood group O. Because you can see the person with blood group AB is having the antigen of A and B. Then the person with antibodies um, with blood group O is having the antibodies A and B. So the antigens that are in blood group AB, they can react with the antibodies in blood group what? O, which can cause what we call agglutination. Okay, so we have answered this question. Let us now answer our last question D right here. Explain the importance of screening blood for the purpose of transfusion. So uh, screening of blood is just um, a, a procedure which is uh, undertaken to check the safeness of what? Of blood. So why is it important to screen blood? So screening of blood is important because um, it helps to determine the blood groups. It also helps to determine the resource factor and um, to check for infections such as HIV and hepatitis.
okay right so we have said um screening of blood helps to determine blood groups it also helps to uh, determine the stat uh, racial status and it also helps to check for infections such as hiv and hepatitis so once um if a, if a person wants to to donate blood first of all they are going to screen your blood to see if at all the blood groups are compatible also to check okay the status of the resource what factor apart from that uh, they are also going to check if at all the blood contains any infections so if they find that the blood contains any infections no blood transfusion is going to be carried out because that blood is not what safe for transfusion so thank you so much everybody come to the end of our session this has been your presenter mr mlenga bye bye